I had a facial yesterday at Dharma MB and um, I was talking to the esthetician about exfoliating and then I've never ever seemed to find a good exfoliator. Like I'll get one and then it's good for a couple days or like a couple weeks and then I just find it gets too abrasive after a while. Like I just like my skin never quite likes exfoliation and I find in the summertime there is just like so much grit on my face from like sunscreen and just like the buildup of that and just like extra oils from sweating and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I just cleanse my face with, um, um, first aid beauty. This is the face cleanser. This is the, um, first sensitive skin, which I really like. And it's just like a really, it's like a creamy, one so I just um did that and I'm going to give this um a try so this I got from Derma Envy it's the hydropeptide exfoliating cleanser and um it has like jo jojoba beans I think I'm saying that right as like the beans not beads sorry not beans jojoba beads um and citrus accent extracts um and i guess like the yohobo beads we're gonna give it a try but um i guess they are quite gentle so let's give it a whirl curious to see how it comes out like oh it's kind of like creamy it smells really good so i'm just going to Oh yeah, that feels good. Oh yeah. It's citrus, which it's funny, I'm not a huge citrus fan, but it's not too bad. Oh yeah, it's very gentle. But it feels like it's exfoliating. Like, I remember growing up, I used to get like the St. Ives um, apricot scrub and I loved it. Um, but it's just like so abrasive on your skin. It actually feels pretty good. I wish I had a sink that was capable. No, it's a little bit of redness there, but that might just be from the sun today. It actually feels pretty good. I tend to only exfoliate maybe once or twice a week. Um, I don't know. I just have never found a good one. So we'll see how this one goes. And what I am a huge fan of, I should say, is toner. And I found this on sale, but it's um, the Pixie Glow Tonic. It's one of my favorite toners. I do have that one's like empty but that's that's a pretty good one it's um this is like the oat milk one it's pretty good but I just find this one does such a good job I don't know I just there's something in it that my skin quite likes and it has a tiny bit of exfoliation built into it too which I kind of like as well um, but we'll get this a little whirl. So that was my third time yesterday at Derma MB in the last like six months. I really love the chemical peels. Just feels like you're getting new skin, which is so nice. Um, and although I've had like a lot of breakouts over the last like 10 years, I've been told every single time that I have really good skin because like underneath I can see like the layers of the skin and stuff 
which is so nice, so rewarding. Um, I just have, you know, acneic skin, which is like hormonal. Um, and I'm doing the best that I can to try and mitigate um, long standing issues. Okay, and so, I'm a huge, huge serum girl, and this is almost done. So I do a double serum, always. Um, so this is a salicylic acid, um, and it's for blemish prone skin. It is the ordinary, one of my favorites. And I just kind of go drop, 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 and then drop. Um, and tap it in we like it's so crazy how much when we talk about like moisturizer and oils and stuff it, um people are so rough on their skin when they put them in like we need to just tap 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 um you know i do rub it in a little bit when it comes to here and i like to kind of just like pull it along the jawline massage just a little bit um and just so you all know i've been doing this before you know Haley b or glazed donut i typically do this every night is i do uh, i do cleanse my face every night and put oil on it i like to go to bed with a lot of oil on my face um, because I just don't like having dry skin, especially on my face. There's nothing more satisfying than like when your face feels really dry and you get to moisturize it. And so I can just feel all the dead skin coming off, which is so nice. Um, and because I had an acne peel yesterday, or sorry, acne facial and chemical peel, I'm getting all kinds of like those like white sebums coming out of my skin, which is great because it is, my skin is just ridding itself of all of that. Okay, so now that salicylic acid is in, and then I've been loving this, so I'm gonna like maybe halfway so this is the stuff that my massage therapist makes this is a wild rose serum it's fucking awesome i love it so much my hand or my hair my skin my nails they all love it Oop, i did not drop that on my face that totally went somewhere else And like I just go to town on my neck so I'll show you what I do in a minute I just I know it looks so oily but I swear by it and then I don't really I don't wash my face in the morning I if I get in the shower in the morning, just like cold water over the face, a little bit of moisturizer. I don't typically do serum in the morning. I just do like a tin, like an either a tinted moisturizer, a regular moisturizer. Um, but I am a serum junkie in the nighttime. And I just been doing this lately because I saw on TikTok it's really good to do this for the neck and so if it's on TikTok it's obviously right right also facial massages are so good so 
I would say my skin feels super smooth after using that hydropeptides. Winnie Watson. Hi, Winnie Winnie. Hi, Winnie Winnie. You wanna do your skincare routine? You wanna tell everybody what your skincare routine is? My skincare routine is I lick the skincare up products of my mama's face yeah that's what you do that's what you do lick it off my face yep yep that concludes my night time i'm like just pulling it all the way down feels so good Looking like a glazed donut. Good night, everybody.